Good afternoon, everyone. So why would you start a show with a security guy? Rather simple. We lay down the rules. Well, that's what oh, we that's think we do. But I'm here to talk to you about a different kind of world that we live in, the digital world. I'm not an internet security guy. I'm a regular security guy. But I've challenged the norm, and I continue to challenge it every day. And that's what I want you to do today. And I kick this off with you, for you today, with a simple story. 12 years ago, I received a call around midnight from a lady. Sounded someone's, like someone's mother, maybe an elderly lady. And she was crying. Random number, lady calling at midnight, crying. What could I think? And then she proceeded to say, thank you. Thank you, son. Thank you, beta. Thank you, son. And it took her about a minute before she actually continued with what she had to say. And I listened to her and I asked her, I'm like, what are you thanking for? So what happened was that she got a text message through someone. This is, remember, 12 years ago, so WhatsApp wasn't really the thing back then. That message told her that there was a roadblock at a certain point that day. And because of that roadblock, she took a different route and reached her destination on time. Ladies and gentlemen, what was that roadblock about and why was it so significant to her? Her husband had suffered a massive heart attack. They reached the hospital and the doctors told her, five minutes and you would have been too late. But why do I want you to pay attention to that? Why talk about that now? She earned five minutes, her husband lived, I don't know where they are today in the world. But those five minutes changed her life, as she told me and continued to tell me. But what was it? It was just getting her the right information at the right time. But more importantly for me, and that's where it struck my internal, you know, spark the revolution that we're talking about today, that's what internalized. That's where I got it from. I internalized that moment because what it told me was that I can make a change in someone's life that I don't even know. This lady apparently spent six hours trying to trace me. She went back to the person who sent it to her and the next, and the next, and the next, until she got my number. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm standing here today and I can tell you this, had that call not come that night at midnight 12 years ago, I probably wouldn't be standing here. It changed me. It made me realize that we have a role to play with technology back then and even more so today. Think about it for a moment. Are you trained in your schools, in your colleges, in your universities, at your workplaces, in your homes to manage risk? Any risk. Financial, we have some financial risk people here today. Yes, you can go and pick up on the books. If we think about it today, you're sitting here right now in front of me. How many people have told someone back home, back at the office, back somewhere else, that, hey, I'm going to be here. I will not be able to take a call for the next one, two, six, X number of hours. In case of an emergency, how do you get to me? Think about that. We live in a world that constantly changes. A world that is challenging us to be proactive. It is very easy to blame society, to blame people and say, X didn't do this and Y didn't do that and I paid this and I didn't get that. While it's not wrong to complain, it's also important for you to try and make that difference. Start small. Start in your homes. Start amongst your friends. Start in this audience. This talk, maybe, that start for you. Managing risks are not the science that they made out to be. It is all common sense. 
that unfortunately which is uncommon. We can make that happen. You prepare for disasters. What kind of disasters? In the IT world, loss of data. In an institution, loss of your administration pool, your teachers, whatever it is. But where's that preparation for disaster in your own lives? Everyone in this audience right now, watching us as well, you have someone who depends on you or whom you depend on. Have you thought about them? What can you do? How can you make them more aware? Make them learn? Ladies and gentlemen, that's where you can play technology today. Everyone in this room, and I'm sure all those watching online, have a cell phone. So can you use apps? Of course you can. Make them. They are aware. There are plenty of things. There are ways to prepare. We know there are shortcomings. How many ambulances to a person here? How many fire brigades to a person here? To the number of houses. But how many of you in this room or anywhere out there has made the effort to learn the basics of safety? If you catch fire, what do you do? Do you wait for that ambulance which is going to take forever to come? Or you make an effort to douse that flame? But in doing so, can you create an awareness as well for others? Take your experiences. Learn. Information you share and have is there for everyone. Think about the things you can do. That's what this is all about. Be the heir. Not that which you breathe. I want you to be the adult in room. I want you to be the, that one person who takes charge when things go wrong. But that's one aim. Take charge beforehand. You know there are things that can happen to you. And you know that you may not have control over them at that particular point. But if you prepare, as I said previously, you can prevent more disasters or greater disasters to yourself. I cycle, ladies and gentlemen, while I may not look it. But here's something I've got for myself. We go around on the streets of Karachi cycling. But we tend not to take our belongings with us. And it's not a safety concern. It's just the fact that, you know, it falls, it breaks, cell phones, whatever. You don't have enough to put pockets to carry stuff. But here's this little bracelet. It has my blood group, it has my name, and it has contact numbers for three people who I know will respond 24-7, 365. Not unique. Hajj is just over. What did they do this year? They provided that. They learned from last year's disaster, the loss of life. They've given people bracelets to wear with information. There are means, this exists, this is not new technology. This I got from abroad, but we made them here locally. So try, take the lead, be the heir. You don't have to worry about age, color, creed. If you have knowledge, everyone around you will pay attention. Challenge it. There are technologies out there that bring more information to you, the speed of light, than you could ever perceive. I've gone from the black and white television to watching television on my cell phone. You're streaming this event live, where? Where are the talks, where are the safety, where are the security apps, where are the information that you learned? You can put that all up there. Use that. Remember that lady when I started out. 12 years ago, she had a text message that got to her. Today we have WhatsApp, but what's the most use on WhatsApp? Jokes, yeah, fine, we all wanna laugh but it causes panic as well. And this is where you want to change things. Think out of the box, ladies and gentlemen. We've heard that from day one. We keep hearing that in school. We get an assignment, we get told, think out of the box. Come up with something new. 
My question is, which box? I'm standing in a circle. If I step out of that circle, I'm still in this auditorium. You are there. This is your audience right now. When you step out, you have a different audience. Which box are we talking about? Do we really have to step out of a box to do something different? That's the theme, that's the focus. Be different, maybe, maybe not. But make sure you actually go out there and discover things. I bring to you technology, we bring to you technology, WhatsApp can tell you, YouTube videos can put things online. You can do a lot, you can get your message out there. But innovate, innovate because that's the aim, this is where we are. And I focus this talk today primarily from the environment we live in. Everything exists online, everything has been there, but bring it to your local terms. How many of you can translate into multiple languages, reach out there? There are medical helplines that are now available on cell phones. But have you thought that if someone's on fire, can someone guide them what to do? Do you know the stop, drop, roll? Or at someone's house, they're standing below, they've been unable to? Or maybe, we know that the resources are short, maybe you can set up a system that works with the authorities where they can just have a Skype call with you quickly while you're there, while they're on the way, while they're sending a response. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, we live in a large city, but there are portions of the city that are unreachable in a timely manner, in a manner where you can save a life. That's what we want to do. We want to encourage you to think. Think out of the box, maybe. I don't like that terminology, I challenge. Like I said, take things by the home, grab them. Ladies and gentlemen, act. We have artists, they may act. You can act differently. But what is act? What kind of acting are we looking for here? Not that I tell you and you instantly go out and start doing something and start sending, everyone's taking their cell phones out and sending their moms and dads and spouses, hey, you know, I'm here right now, I can't talk to you for the next six hours. That's one kind of act. But what I'm talking about is that actions conquer terror. The terror of failure, the terror of being judged, the terror of the unknown. You can be different, you can challenge. I stand to you today with 19 years of experience in security in the corporate world. I challenge the norm, a civilian in an ex-forces world. They were welcoming, they wanted ideas, they accepted. We gave them innovation, we produced things. Things as basic as listservs which existed all over the world. We brought them here, people now get information rapidly. We put websites up, we help talks, create awareness, sessions. This is what it is, challenge what you know, think. Ladies and gentlemen, safety, security in today's world is everyone's responsibility, everyone. You entered this room, you were equally responsible in knowing how you could exit in a secure manner. Don't expect the next person to tell you how to run out. When you got here, you knew the way. If you didn't, you used an app to find your way on Google Maps. That's what many of the people I did. Strange as it sounds, there are people from outside. And you have manners. That lady, had she had the Google Maps and the traffic updates back there in 12 years, she possibly wouldn't need that SMS. But that's the progression that we made. Adopt these technologies. You can save lives, every one of you that life could end up being someone very dear to you. Thank you all, and please follow us. <laughs>